spicy salmon sushi rolls. They are a fantastic light lunch to make at home. And what makes these a little bit different is I'm going to be wrapping them in the very versatile rice paper. I think this is a really great idea if you're not that confident in wrapping sushi. So let's start with the sushi rice. You can get sushi rice everywhere these days. It's a short grain and what I like to do is wash it at least three times just to get rid of some of that starchy water. This then goes into a pot, so a medium to small pot, and we're going to cover it with water. So this sushi rice, you'll need one cup of rice to two cups of water. You could also do this in a rice cooker if you like. Water goes over it, enough to cover it, and we'll turn the heat on. Now you want this on a medium to high heat. I'll bring that up to the boil, turn it down to a low heat, and then I'll pop the lid on. And by doing that, we're using the absorption method. So all of that water will be absorbed by the rice and it'll be absolutely perfect. Now, while that's cooking, let's get on to the filling, which is the best part of this. I'm going to be using some salmon. I always have a can of tin salmon in my pantry. It's a fantastic source of omega-3. And this one is skinless and bone so it's just really easy to use. I also like the salmon that's in spring water. So I've just drained it and we'll flake that straight into our bowl. You need two tins for this. Great. And before we continue, have a look at the rice. It's boiling very quickly. We'll turn the heat down just to a low heat. Lid goes on and that's the second stage of the cooking. Right, for some extra flavours with our salmon, some mayonnaise. You can do a whole egg mayonnaise. Store-bought is completely fine for this recipe. Along with some soy sauce. Just take that fork out. Little drizzle of soy sauce. And it is a spicy salmon roll, so some hot chilli sauce. You can add a little bit or a lot, depending on your taste. I'm going to add a little splash. About a teaspoon. Okay, now with our spoon, we're going to give that a really good mix to combine all those flavours. This is where you could get really creative with the flavourings. You could add a little bit of vinegar, some mirin, even some minced ginger would be fantastic. So I'll pop that to the side, that's ready to go. And a few little extras to add into our sushi rolls. I have some cucumber, some carrot and some avocado. So I'll just slice this and we just have to wait for this rice to finish cooking. I've also cut up one nori sheep because we're going to need that for our little bundle that we're going to be making. And before we start assembling, the last thing I want to prepare is a dipping sauce. So I've got some chilli oil here. This is a crunchy chilli oil. I love it because of its crunchy texture. It's got sesame seeds throughout it too. So we'll just add about a teaspoon or so into a bowl along with some sugar and some vinegar. I'm just using some rice vinegar. And those three ingredients makes a really nice dipping sauce. So we'll just let all those flavours marry together. We'll pop that to the side and let's start rolling. So this is where the rice paper comes in. We're just going to place it in some water, just like you were doing the classic Vietnamese-style rice paper rolls. And I'm going to line them up. Now, I'm going to work fast here and do three at a time. You don't want to do any more than three at a time because it does get sticky fast. And the third one... Then on each rice paper, I'll add one piece of nori to the centre, our cucumber. And this is where it can be quite fun for the whole family to get involved. You can make this for a dinner or, like I said, for a lunch. I know my little boy likes to get involved and start wrapping them. So on with some carrot and avocado, a few slices. You don't want to overfill these either, so just a few slices is plenty. And for our spicy salmon mixture, we're going to place that on top of our avocado. So about a heap teaspoon on each. It's going to be really creamy, just fantastic. And now for the rice. So my little trick when you're handling sushi rice is to have some water on standby because it is really sticky. I'll just grab a spoon, 
place my hand in the water and shake that excess water off. Then we'll grab a dessert spoon full of rice and we're just going to mould it into a quenelle-like shape. You can see just by pressing down on the rice between your spoon and your hand, it doesn't stick. This makes it so much easier. Okay, we'll place that onto our salmon. And as quick as you can be, you want to roll this up before that rice paper gets too sticky. So I like to roll it a few times, bring in the sides and tuck that in just like a little burrito and then keep rolling. And that's our first cute little sushi wrapped in rice paper. How great does that little bundle look? So I'm gonna make a few more of these and then we get to try them. I've wrapped a few of these sushi rolls and now what I'm doing is using a super sharp knife just to cut these in half because I really like the idea of seeing the inside so you can see that gorgeous salmon there with the avocado and all the bits and pieces that make this delicious little wrap. So sharp knife, cut them in half. And then this is a really nice canapé too. You can make it super casual and pop it into the lunchbox. Or if you've got some people coming around for some drinks, what a great thing to go around a party. It's also really filling with that salmon and the rice there. So this little, last little one, super sticky with the rice paper roll, but that's okay. And then our sauce here, we'll just drizzle some into a bowl. And there you go, it's a bit of a, a modern twist on that classic sushi that's only wrapped in nori rolls. So why not try using the nori sheets and the rice paper sheets because it's far less complicated to wrap. They also look pretty good. Mm -hmm.